Traders, welcome back to another price action trading lesson. We're looking at SP 500 and many futures. The time frame is 2000 tick chart. And what is the structure for me telling me? Right now, I can see that there was news announcement around this area, big bear spike. And you want to make sure you always monitor the news calendar because you don't want to be trading, let's say, five minutes before and after the news due to spike in volatility. There can be a slippage if you are inside a trade. So just don't trade the news, it is not worth it. And what is the most recent bias right now in this market? Well, it is bullish bias because we have a nice bullish channel. You can see how nicely these candles fit inside this channel. So there is bullish bias. And according to trend line rule, I expect new extreme. So once I see this correction, I'm using the counting technique to count for two legged pullbacks, second entry long at the key entry point, because that would be a high priority sell. 21 bar exponential moving average, the supportive indicator. Now, how is the EMA reacting? It is not holding at all. And now we have second entry long. Can I consider the second entry long? Not really. Why? Because I can see we have shortened down trend in play. I need to follow the trend line rule, not only for the main channel, but also for the corrections, because there are small corrections inside of the main pattern. So we see second entry long and EMA didn't hold. So very concerning. So in order for me to go long, I would need to see high low above EMA, or I would need to see break new low with the downtrend push above EMA and halo there. So I need to time it correctly. So right now I'm following the channel down. It is very nice and clear. Let's see what's going to happen. Okay, price session created new extreme as expected. So only thing right now I'm interested in is push above EMA because I want to see the confirmation the bulls are in the market because I don't know how many pushes low there's going to be. We keep working over, but I'm not really too faced by this. I'm not looking for any bigger channel because this is the channel that needs to get new extreme. I keep a breaking low. It is okay to have a couple more pushes lower. Okay, we have a break above EMA. This is what I want to see. And now we have high low confirmation setup. Now, exactly as we expected, I'm also going to draw a channel wider because I expect right now new high for this channel. I don't expect this to be correction. And look at this big bearish bar. Down trend played out above EMA, one tick lower and big tier one signal bar above EMA. You know that a lot of these sellers got trapped selling below this bar. They got ticked in their trades. Strong reversal this is a great high priority setup, high low confirmation setup while we have the bullish bias. Now, what is the next setup we're expecting? We're expecting felt second entry short. Now we have a felt second entry short, but problem is EMA didn't hold. Ideally, you would like to see first entry short, second entry short and EMA holding so you have it clear it also aligns with the channel we broke below those so that's a little bit concerning once again the single bar is identical great tier one single bar one tick lower reversal up closing above ema and you have small double bottom this uptrend is new high this uptrend is new high there's a bullish bias in this market but because it broke below ema i have to mark it more aggressive and more advanced ideally you would like to see some small little second entry long something like this because you would break above EMA, can we get it? We cannot. Right now, market is going sideways. Let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, we are starting to get stacked, more congestion, and now we have congestion. We actually have a micro second entry long. But if I'm gonna look closely, I can see that we have congestion. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bar stack right next to each other. This is a no trade zone, congestion. So I don't want to go long, even though we need new extreme for both channels. I need to time the entry properly. Not full at the EMA, so I got to be careful. More congestion. So I'm going to trade congestion like this. This is a small train range. Okay. There are two ways. I can also take the breakout, pull back long, or I can wait for break to the downside and fade it with the direction of the trend, which is bullish. So these are two alternatives that I'm looking for as a price action trader. Let's see what's going to happen. We have a break lower and we have fell breakout okay because a lot of sellers will get trapped selling against the trend how big is this bar only one and a half points small bar fell breakout the low congestion according to rules we need to get new extreme and this is a great high probability setup price section is breaking higher we actually have high low confirmation of what confirmation of this fell breakout but if i'm going to look closely it is an inside bar and a little bit stacked, you know, we're going to get new high at this point. It's pretty clear because you're back above EMA. So price action really want to see the new high for both channels. But because it is an inside bar in quite a stacked area, 
you know, feels a little bit more aggressive. So once again, not fully high probability. You need to be way more advanced to consider this. And price action create a new extreme for our channel to the left. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stack the new high. Right now I'm gonna be pausing, looking to go long. But there is already one thing that can catch my attention. And this is how long and sideways this correction was. It feels almost detached from the initial uptrend because generally you will get new high fairly quickly after break of this channel. You can see how long this push was. So this begs the question, there is possibly a spike in a channel like this. But I need to be careful because we just reached new high for this channel. And I don't want to get trapped taking the very first second entry long after new high of this channel. Just because I think this channel is a possibility, I will need to see some more confirmation. So this is something I keep in back of my mind. But as of right now, I'm just going to be waiting for more price action development. Okay, nothing really is forming great. We have a low high, but I cannot really search just yet. It was too bullish. It is not a reversal pattern. It's just low high, not confirming anything. If you are thinking about bearish reversal, we need a felt second entry long below EMA. You already have a small break in your extreme and you can already see the rectangle because the news are about to pop in. You can see the spike in volatility. So if I'm going to zoom back, actually price action fits our initial analysis. But you need to be careful because we just had new extreme. So you really need to evaluate and not jump the gun so you don't get trapped. Now we actually have double trap. Okay, at the EMA, because everybody's gonna take a long, second entry long, so far from the EMA is gonna get trapped. And everybody who's gonna take a felt second entry long into the EMA is gonna get trapped as well. Problem is, this is right after news. And this channel had to break a new extreme. So you really gotta be careful taking setup right after news because price action can be distorted after news. So let's give it more time. Unfortunately, even though it worked, we can't really cherry pick because it is just right after news and you just had to break in your extreme. So we gotta be a little more careful. Let's see what's gonna happen. I can see price action going higher. Okay, why is price action continuing to work higher? So many pushes higher after the break new high. So this begs the question, there's probably a bigger pattern. So I'm gonna cutting the first two swings. I'm gonna copy it. You can see first two swings, third swing confirmation, not the best fitting channel, but I like using the channel because price action keeps working higher, keeps working higher and keeps working higher. So I'm not going short. I'm not buying first entries longs and entries far from the EMA. I want to see clean high probability setup pull back to the EMA. We have a second entry long, but this is horrible second entry long. I cannot buy above bearish bar, not even at the EMA, horrible bar, down chains to get new extreme, bad entry. It's not even a real entry, just second entry long, but I'm talking about this because there's so many things wrong with this. We can also see how overbought this was. If you go on a higher time frame, 10,000 tick chart, we can see that we were very far from the EMA. So it's okay to expect stronger pullback. If you are thinking about buying, you need to see push above EMA and high low or hold second entry short if high low will form bad. But there is no decision to be made because market keeps working lower. So what I need to do, draw a brand new downtrend because I can see right now the sellers are really strong in the market. Okay, we're correcting me with new low, first entry short, second entry short, far from the EMA, I'm definitely not taking. And look what we have. We have double trap, or I can reset the count because you have matching lows here. So I could new low, first entry short, pull back, second entry short. Okay, both ways how to count this are correct. There's a technical way, or you can reset the count and treat it as second entry short. The downtrend needs to get new extreme. We spike down, we need new low. And also I can see we have small, almost triple test. Not fully, but almost. And nothing in price action is perfect. So I have resistance, I have the EMA, and this is a great signal bar, not that big, only two points. So I actually like taking this setup, expecting to retest. Even though the main bias is bullish, Channel like this in such a clear setup should get at least scalped. Remember, we are only scalpers. If you are a swing trader, you're definitely not looking to, for a swing because there can be push up. But we are only scalpers. So, you know, a lot of times we can be way more aggressive because we can really sneak in and get the scalp. That's the beauty of being a scalper. A lot of times you can be wrong even on the main buys, but still get the scalp. That's what's going to happen. 
and this setup ended up being a trap. I even took this up myself, so I had a losing trade right here, but it's okay, nothing in trading is 100%, eight or nine times out of 10 is gonna work. And this is such a great setup that you shouldn't even get frustrated. It is okay to get frustrated when, let's say you're gonna make a mental error. Okay, you're gonna be watching a setup where you're supposed to take it and you're not gonna take it. You're gonna be like, man, I knew I was supposed to take this setup. So it's very hard to not get frustrated or you're gonna jump the gun when the setup is not really there, but you're being impatient. Once again, mental mistakes like this, it's okay to get frustrated. You really shouldn't, but it's understandable. But if you get frustrated about the losing trade when the setup really looks great and there are only a few negatives, you really shouldn't get frustrated at all. That's actually a good litmus test to know if you're ready because if you see a good setup, you've done your analysis and you have a losing trade, you really shouldn't get riled up about this trade. It should be just part of trading, part of business. That's how trading is. Nothing is 100%. You just try to put an edge on your side. It's just gonna happen. We have a second entry long, but it's below EMA and inside bar. So I definitely cannot take. EMA didn't hold, below EMA inside bar. So I need to see how low if I'm thinking bullish. And the market is quickly proving me otherwise. You can see we're working lower. So what I'm gonna do, we draw downtrend. And I already understand what the market intends to do because I'm gonna measure the first leg. I'm gonna use the tool measured move. This is the first leg. This is the target most likely for prices to go to. And by the way, are you expecting this push down to be new low for this channel? No, because we retrace too much of this push down this is brand new channel working lower. Meaning if it's get a break, you expect new low, okay? So because you trace too far up, you're negating this channel and this channel will also need new extreme if there's going to be a break. Okay, we have a new low, first entry short, second entry short, I cannot take. New low can reset, first entry short. Now, tricky area. Price action is a little bit ambiguous because we reach the measured move to like a pullback, almost to the tick. But this downtrend at the same time needs new low. So now I have a dilemma. I cannot go long because this downtrend may get new extreme. But at the same time, I have measured move. So if I find myself in a situation like this, I need a short setup to look really good. Okay, if a bias is clear and you don't have measured move, you can take more sketchy setups. But if there is ambiguity like this, I have conflicting variables, I really need to be convinced by the market to offer me a really good setup. So let's see what's gonna happen. Okay, we have a second entry short above EMA, break lower, and now we have a lower high confirmation of the second entry short. But like I said, EMA flat, measure move was reached, we're back above EMA, but downtrend is new extreme. And you're above EMA, had this low high at least close below EMA, we can argue about it being good setup, but as it formed right now, way more aggressive. So I have to give this more aggressive. Makes sense because the downtrend needs new extreme eventually, but it formed off EMA. Okay, so price session created new extreme. So I'm gonna mark my new low. We're going far from the measured move. So I'm gonna be expecting some correction. Let's see what's gonna happen. Not really sure about selling or buying. Okay, I'm gonna draw a wider channel. Let's see what's gonna happen. We have a felt second entry short. Absolutely terrible bar. Definitely gonna go long. Doji like this, below EMA. I cannot sell at the same time as well. We have a break in your stream. So this is area of development. Don't look for subs on every candle. We have a congestion. You can see seven bars stack right next to each other. So I'm just being patient. In a situation like this, I either want to see strong pushes lower so I can look for a wider channel or I want to see strong confirmed push above EMA, most likely needing new high and then I'm going to be looking for second entry long. Okay, I'm not trying to weasel my way in in area of development like this. Just sitting back. Okay, this is what I like to see. Okay, good. This is clear and concise push above EMA and this is really confirmation of the momentum. We can see how convincing this reversal looks much better than this. So right now I'm expecting some wider uptrend and a second entry long at the EMA. Okay, I can see spike and channel forming. So right now if I'm gonna zoom back and make the overall analysis, it looks like big uptrend, two-legged pullback, 
we overshot a little bit and now I expect new high for this channel and if you're not playing this channel to the left because it is not so perfectly fitting you expect still new high for this spike and channel so right now you understand there is a bullish bias you can see how broad these two legs were so bearish momentum played out so one thing I'm thinking about is pull back to the EMA and a second entry long at the EMA let's see how it's gonna form okay the first entry long perfect okay cut reset new high first entry long perfect can we get a second entry long okay EMA is not holding mm, already concerned now what I want to see second entry long below EMA you know I cannot really take it here especially if you can make a case for downtrend being slightly wider but this spike and channel is so clear there's still a chance for me to push above EMA and give me high low confirmation setup okay we don't get it now we actually have the confirmation actually not confirmation let's say the continuation that's the better word here of the second entry long closing above EMA you know very tempting but I'll be honest with you I would really be waiting for the high low but you know it is so tempting above EMA more advanced trader can consider but the safest way is really to wait for a high low above EMA confirming this visual to like a pullback and we never really got high low and market unfortunately even though you have the right bias you know exactly what's gonna happen is just not allowing you to enter great and now the market is about to close so this is how price action follows the rules and how pure prices move the december trading so far has been quite challenging that doesn't mean there are no good high probability setups because there always are several good easy high probability setups but there is not that many of them if you miss a good setup or you don't get filled you hesitate just for a bit you pretty much have to wait a very long time for another setup to develop i don't really remember december being so choppy as it is right now because since the december started the price action is quite difficult not that many good setups it is really sideways a lot of trend ranges without static key levels so this is really quite unusual and I know a lot of traders who passed their evaluation accounts problem accounts let's say last week or last month and they're getting quite discouraged right now because their win rate is not really what it used to be you shouldn't really judge your performance based on the December because I find myself waiting a lot and I'm really feeling uncomfortable trading this market right now because I'm a trader who loves trading I love this business I love studying this market being immersed in it I truly obsess over this profession since the December started I'm being really really tired the trading is quite taxing because I'm just waiting a long time for everything to align and once I have the context once I have the key entry point the setup is just not forming for example let's talk about this this is very common we have a nice spike in a channel perfect context perfect key entry point you expect good setup at least second entry long high low for second entry short none of this is forming market is just rolling higher or on the way down you expect at least second entry short and nothing is forming same thing happened yesterday a lot of v-shape reversals where you got the context you got the key entry point but you have no way to get in so december right now has been quite challenging if you are struggling right now or you're not doing as great as you did you're definitely not alone the december right now price action has been quite messy now it is definitely normal to get messy days here and there because market is not here to give us what we want we have to adapt we have to earn our money we have to earn this so definitely there are days that are going to be hard to trade but we have you know we pretty much that's been very difficult to navigate don't get discouraged don't judge your performance based on this week's price action because it's really hard to find a good setup you pretty much cannot hesitate but you also need to look at this from positive side because if you can sustain a decent win rate throughout period like this that's a great test that you are ready to be a trader once the market goes back into normal because you have to earn this this is not free you actually have to earn this market will test you if this was easy everyone would be doing this we all would be just trading one hour a day and making tons of money sometimes the setups are going to be so easy but sometimes there are going to be periods like this where the market is really testing us and i find myself being really really tired this week looking for good setups and i'm lucky taking one or two setups so this is definitely not easy structure to trade because the setups are not that easy but it will definitely turn around this will not last forever i suspect that finally next week we may get a decent price session again so i hope you had a good trading day make sure to really monitor your susceptibility to make mental errors 
because you really shouldn't be taking setups out of boredom. This is the trade that you really need to master on a week like this because you're really going to be waiting for a long time and your tendency to break setups will be higher and higher. So make sure you take it.